Hey everyone, welcome to Maker's Mind. Today I am going to install a reverse osmosis system and I will also cover how to make a hole on granite countertop for faucet installation. Let's begin with unboxing the package. Here is the stainless steel faucet. The water tube and these are the extra filters. connectors and valves. This is a wrench for changing the filters. Here is our 5 stage RO system. You can see 3 filtering stages at the bottom and 2 filtering stages at the top. The water tank, the capacity of 3.2 gallons. First, we need to put a mark for the spot where we need to make the hole for the faucet. To make the hole on granite countertop, I am gonna use half inch diamond drill bit. Now attach the drill bit and start drilling from one corner and make a rough score on the granite countertop. To make the rest of the hole, I need to spray some water to reduce the frictional heat during the drilling process. To do that, I made a circular shape around the marked spot using a dough so that it can hold some water while I am drilling. Once I pour some water, I started drilling process until I finished making the hole. The hole is now completed and I have attached the faucet using supplied materials. I am going to install the RO system under the sink. And the first thing, I need to shut off the cold water line valve located under the sink. The next step, I am going to add the water feed valve system which will divide the main water supply line into two parts one for the main kitchen faucet and another to the RO system this feed valve is suitable for half inch water supply pipe and I use some plumbing tape for metal tube connectors once the valve is installed check if there is any water leakage Now, I am going to connect different water lines using the water tube and push fit connectors that came in the same packaging. There are 4 lines that we need to connect and they are cold water line which is the main raw water supply to the RO system, a faucet line from RO system, a line to the water storage tank connected to the RO system. The last line we have is the wastewater drain line from the RO system. Let's start with cold water connection and I am going to connect one end of the water tube to the feed valve and the other end of the water tube to the pressure control valve which is also came in the same packaging. Now from the pressure control valve connect the tube to raw water inlet of the RO system. Similar way, connect the faucet line and the drain water line. I have not used the drain saddle because I am able to attach the drain line to the main drainage pipe through the pre-installed opening. Now the next thing is, I have connected the water storage tank to the RO system and I turned off the valve attached to the water storage tank. After everything is connected, turn on the main cold water line and wait for 5 minutes for the water to travel to the RO system. At this moment, keep the valve on the storage tank in off position and then turn on the faucet. You will notice water starts dripping and then starts flowing at a slow stream. 
This is because the storage tank is not yet full. Keep the water flowing for 10 to 15 minutes and then turn off the faucet. Next step, turn on the valve on the storage tank and wait till the tank is full. Now turn on the faucet and start enjoying fresh filtered water.